energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, and we are now officially underway. And now he angles it across to Fox. Big save in front. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Moves it quickly over to Huberto. Puck sent down the ice. We'll get an icing. McDavid's a fast skater, and it's his wheel zone ability that makes him hard to keep up with. Matthews can deke his way to the net and launch a quick shot before anyone can react. That's his shock and awe zone ability. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. Rocked him along the wall! Wow, did he finish that check off hard. He had him in the lights and he didn't let him out. Hammers oh. him! James, I hear that over here, the crunch of the pads. That's a big hit. Still miss playing? No. Canada's got a hold of it against the wall. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Team USA's got control of it now from their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick feed to Kane. Canada's got the puck. Stays with it. Quick pass to Crosby. Team Canada's got the puck against the boards. Oh, that's a huge stop by Demko. The goalies are so good, sometimes the way to beat them is with a little unpredictability. That's the backhand. Nobody really knows where that puck's going when it leaves your stick. Pass across to Marchand. Can't make the connection on the pass. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Team USA's got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by Dabrinkit. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Here's a short pass to Crosby. Moves the puck along the half wall. Taken by Carlson. Moves the puck over to Larkin. And now he moves it to Kachuk. And a good solid hit on that play. Great defensive effort with the stick. Picked up along the wall by Stone. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Can't make it work. Pushes it across to Dabrinkit. High oh. driving hit. James, I didn't see that coming. He closed the ice there so quickly, and he just laid him out. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. USA's got a hold of it along the wall. Team Canada's got possession at center. Team USA's got the puck now. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a shot. They score. You get down into that low slot, you don't have much time to deliver it. That puck's on and off the stick in a hurry and into the net. Canada's effort pays off with a 1-0 lead. And now it has to be relentless. Just because you're up by one doesn't mean you sit back. O'Reilly's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Shifley's got the puck. Here he is with the backhander. Scores! Hard to get a much quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. And that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. You can almost feel the frustration oozing out of the goaltender. I mean, they're in the right spot. They make most of the save, but it's not enough, and it's in the net. Canada's now taken a two-goal lead in the first. They've been aggressive. They've had lots of pucks on net. They've also been aided by the goalie down there playing a little bit of dodgeball. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Plays the body into that play. Puck grab by O'Reilly. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Scooped up along the wall by Ekblad. Moves it to Shifley. Scores his second of the game. Now here's a little math for you, James. One's good, two's better. He finishes off this opportunity, and now it's a great night. 
That's the play you practice half the time. It's that down low, quick action play where you get into position, you hope a pass is like that, and you hammer it in from in tight. Here in the late going of the frame, Team Canada's got a three-goal lead. Matthews wins the draw inside the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Team Canada's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Quick pass to Goudreau. Oh, brutal open ice hit. He laid the shoulder in. It's a clean hit. There'll be no penalty. That's a devastating hit. Musa quickly over to Wierenski. From off the wall and onto a stick. McDavid's got it in the offensive zone. Great reactionary save as he gets a toe on that. Matthews crosses the line and is on the attack. Grabbed along the board by Kane. Nice speed from the boards. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Ray, as we get things underway here in this second period, give us a sense of what you interpreted from that first 20 minutes. Canada's tactics were perfect in that first period. They had the puck the whole time, and they had lots of luck around the net. Uses the force on that hit. USA's game possession along the boards. Devastating hit, and what a jolt of energy for the bench, too. Flurry's gonna smother him to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period, and the ice has been tilted to this point. Three-nothing is where we sit right now. Canada's got it in the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Takes it into the slot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Long pass into the neutral zone. There's a big hit against the boards. You want to squeeze by because you know the middle of the ice is the bad place. You go up the wall sometime, the door gets slammed. Taken along the wall by McKinnon. USA's grabbed a hold of the puck. Dropped him in the open ice. Maintains possession. Oh, talk about finishing your check. Wow. Quick feed to Carlson. Feeds the puck to Eichel. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Denies him in front. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squirms up, spreads out, and makes the save. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Crosby's going to play it against the half wall. Feeds it down low. Team USA's got the puck along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Eichel. Team Canada's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. They're going to go. You lay a hit like that on a star player, I think you expect that somebody's coming after you, and here they come. And the crowd on their feet. They wanted it, they got it, and we might even see more. Yeah, in the rivalry game where you don't like the other team, it doesn't take much to spark a fight. Even though they're getting spanked pretty good here, I don't think they're ready to give up on this game yet. I think this fight is a little bit of a hello to his bench, saying, hey, let's not give this away yet. Well, both teams seem to be a little calmer now after a pretty chaotic stretch just a few moments ago. Team Canada's won the faceoff. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's the star player that took that hit, James, and a teammate better step up for him here. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on the way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. A wild 
of couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. Team Canada's won it. Gets the puck over to Stone. Picked up along the boards by Pavelski. And he slides it quickly to Wawrenski. Scores! And look who it is, Razor! Oh, yeah, it's the big tipper. What a great play. Gets himself into position. Always so good getting his stick on the puck as it's delivered to the net. And it's in the net. Team USA is still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. Along the half wall with the puck. Manages to hang on. Big time stop by Demko. And now it's grabbed by Pavelski. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Stamkos. Team USA has got it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Dabrinkit. He scores! Patrick King! USA's got new life here in this second period, Ray. It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. McDavid's one possession. Drives it to the crease. Scores! Anything you can do, I can do better. Wow, that didn't take very long, did it? They give up the one goal and they go right back down the ice and score. That's really impressive work. put themselves in the driver's seat on the back nine of this game here, Ray. They're, they've been impressive so far tonight. They have been, and nothing should change from their perspective. They have to be ready. I'm sure their opponents are going to put together a pretty strong push. Takes it to the net! And he had an answer with that save! And he takes the feed. Oh, he got thunderstruck on that hit! Canada's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a chance in front. Oh, and he keeps it here. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a backhander. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Those bang bang plays are just that. So quick. Puck on the stick, puck off the stick. The goalie's got to be in the right position or they're not going to make that quick save. Good stand up hit. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Big time save, advantage goalie on this one. Sometimes the goalie takes the advantage by keeping really still. Don't make the first move, he did it perfectly. Nearing the 40 minute mark of the game. Up the post and in for the goal! Perfect shot, the goaltender's in position, can't catch up to the pocket. It's off the pipe and in, I mean it doesn't get any better than that. Oh, does he hammer that past the goaltender? He put everything he has behind that one, and the goalie can't get it. Canada's probably not wanting this period to end, do they? No, they're having a great time, and this is going to go into the intermission, and they'll have a relaxing 18 minutes to think about things. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. James, he's only one goal away from the next plateau. He's really working the puck now. And a solid save there as we play on. Bang, bang, play right in the low slot, and the goalie's on top of it. He makes a really astute save here by reading the play well and turning it aside. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. It has certainly been a one-sided affair tonight, and we are underway in the third. 40 minutes into the books. Ray, what do you make of the night so far? USA has been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. 
Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. If the bus doesn't show up, this will be the next indignity. They're getting pumped tonight, and now they're shorthanded, too. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the faceoff. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. Moves it to Carlson. Slides it across to Pavelski. Team Canada's got the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes it to the front. Denies him. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Canada's sliding the puck behind the net. And that's off a stick. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Not surprised the call's made, but he sure didn't like it, James. He protests pretty good here that that was not a penalty. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Really only two ways to play the four-on-four. -four. You're either uber-aggressive or you're ultra-conservative. I want to be aggressive, force the other guys into a mistake. Hangs onto the puck. From the slot, scores! Three is the magic number. And that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. James, I think the, the quickness of the delivery of the puck is more important than the placement when you're in this tight. You're just trying to open up a hole for the goaltender. Team Canada's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side, where this night has been a nightmare. Feeds it over to Matthews. He says, let's get physical on that play. Chase in front, and that's stopped. Driving right to the front. Great reflexes, another save. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Centering P. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Canada's moving it along the wing. The pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And they score again. And listen to this place here. These fans have turned on the home team. I don't know what's worse, James, giving up the goal or that the clock stops again. When you're getting pumped like this, you want to get out of here as fast as you can. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Canada's lamp-lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Goes right to the crease. Oh, just gets a piece of it with the toe stop. Read of the play was perfect, but it's his quickness that gets out tight to the puck, so the shooter can't elevate it anywhere. There's nowhere for the puck to go. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Team USA's got some room to do something here on this power play as the penalty expired. Great pass from the left wing. Oh, he got paddled by Fleury. McCarr's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Canada's won the draw. And he slides it quickly to Stone. With possession along the wall. USA's gained possession along the boards. Hubert ready to join the play. Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. There's the whistle icing the call, big face off looming. And the setters glide towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. Team Canada's got possession here Whoa. on the end. Buckle up, they're gonna drop the gloves. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quick, didn't he? He's not gonna let him fight.
Well, we knew this was coming at some point, and it finally arrived. Oh, did it ever. I mean, are you at all surprised? I mean, come on, this was going to happen. Man, I used to hate these blowout games if you were really on either side of it, because there used to be a lot of this when the game spilled over from frustration. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive oh, zone. Man. And that goes off a player in front. Quick pass to Wheeler. Poked away at center by Marchand. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Here we go, pucks in deep. Team Canada's got a hold of the puck now. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Coming to the slot, wow. he scores! Excellent shot, he gets his stick into position to deliver the puck. Goalie thinks he's got most of it covered, which he does, but not enough, it's just inside the post. Canada's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Team Canada's won the draw in the neutral zone. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Change is coming up front as they send the puck in. Sends it over to McKinnon. Team USA's got a hold of it against the wall. Gaining momentum along wow. the wing. Quick feed to Huberto. Feeds it on over to McKinnon. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Pavelski. Makes a move in front. Makes the save with the foot. Flurry's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Backhander. getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession, so key in today's game. USA's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Team USA's got possession of the puck. He got rocked again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Canada's looking to break out of their own end. Team Canada's gained the line and into the zone. Quick shot! He scores! That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Canada's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Gives them a drink with that hit. Scores! That's two times, two times! Now he's having one of those nights, James. The puck just falls one of them around. You get a chance to score. You don't miss on nights like this. Got to get into the middle of the ice to score. He's in the low slot. He whips the backhander past the goalie. 
Canada's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal. Well, your man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Cuts into the paint! Scores! And there's the counter punch we were looking for, Ray. Well, they needed it. I mean, right now it seemed like they were reeling. But they're able to get a quick one back, and they're back in the game. USA's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals, and you need lots of them. Attack. Nice job tying up his opponent. Rocked on the plane. Did he ever get it, James? That's a really good hit. Now the player's got to go pick up the stick because that got knocked right out of his hand. Oh, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as hard as he could. Goodness. And a solid save on the play there. Moves it up through the middle to the right. Misses wide. He's going to have to fix the sights on that stick. He missed the net by a mile. It's like another area code. On the attack along the boards. Puck picked up by Crosby. Canada's playing it from the side. Scores! The captain comes through! Hey, when there's this much traffic, James, the goalie's just going to drop into the butterfly, try and play the percentages and hope the puck hits him because he can't see it. There's so much traffic in front of the net. He doesn't find it, it doesn't hit him, and it's in the goal. USA's won the draw, they take possession here in the open ice. Fails to find the open man. He grabs the puck here at the point. Angles it over to Marchand. Skates to the crease! They score! And they double it up! The momentum in a game is something. You can't touch it, you can't see it, but you can feel it. You get one, you get another one, now you're rolling. Once he sees the open player, he's gonna sip that puck. His firm, crisp passes are easy to handle. Team Canada's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Eichel's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Poked away in the neutral zone by Eichel. Puck scooped up by Edblad. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bade. Matthews has been fun to watch, guys. Both players have produced offense, but if I have to pick one, I'm giving him the edge here. He's been buzzing tonight. Oh, solid save by Gibson. Shabbat's value is on the ice here, playing hockey, generating chances. He got frustrated and got into that fight early. He's not helping his team at all there. Here's a pass down low. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. He was locked in there. Here's a shot. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Canada's played like the puck was on their stick all night long. Did it not feel like that came for you? Came after them in waves. It was one line after another. The forecheck was good. The speed through the middle of the ice was good. They dominated time of possession as well as the score. And that's all 